promised you a sugar test, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to show you some products, and, and as you're looking at them, maybe you can in your head try to figure out how much sugar is there. And our guest for this is health and wellness coach Rachel Todd. Rachel is the former Miss United States, and she takes clients now and helps people understand what they should be putting in their bodies to be their healthiest. Mm -hmm. So welcome. Thank you. I'm actually a local resident of Jacksonville now. So yeah, you've had excited. We've been trying to get you on the show for quite a while and you didn't live here, but now you do. So <laughs> <Yeah>. lucky <laughs> us. And we'll talk about where people can find you very soon. But we're looking at some things and right off the bat, I can, I think, tell which things are, are meant to be healthier. Because it looks like this is like the, the side. I think all of it's meant to be healthy, right? <laughs> right, absolutely. So I went to the store yesterday, and um, you're right. I was looking for things that normally are hitting some hot button words these days. Mm -hmm. So all natural, no added sugar, um, gluten free, wheat free. These are things that we as consumers are being fed as like kind of like these hashtag words that we should be looking for on labels. So that's kind of what I went for here is that somebody might think this was all very, very healthy for them. And then I was going to ask you guys to kind of put together what you might grab for breakfast and then we can calculate how much sugar is actually in it and then I'd like to talk about why that might be not the best choice for breakfast. Okay. okay. Rance, what do you think? Um, so I usually get up and hit the gym so I would just grab like a little bar maybe this bar. Oh, look at that. Builder's protein. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. so. Uh -huh. Oh, and that's what I would go with. And okay. water. Okay, and, and water. I would probably go with one of these juices, maybe this nice early, because that looks like it has a lot of veggies in it too. And then maybe, um, I know that's baby yogurt, I might do some, some yogurt. yogurt. Okay. And I, every day I have the same thing that everybody makes fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> but I have like a piece of fruit. Okay. And then a bar. Okay, okay. All right, so starting with you, um, this is actually probably not the best choice for a bar, but you were just saying a bar. So I brought a variety of bars here. Um, the thing with bars is you really just want to read the label and okay. empower yourself with the information. So I'm going to flip this up here. And if you could tell me how much sugar is in there. 20 grams. 20 grams of how sugar. How much should we have a day? OK, so there's 4 grams of sugar equals a teaspoon. So you have to do a little bit of math. OK. So that would be 20 divided by 4. Five teaspoons of sugar Thank you. in that. <laughs> so wow. five teaspoons of sugar in a bar like this. And the way that you can really tell that is if you read the first four or five ingredients, they're all different names for sugar. So beet syrup, organic rice syrup, dried cane syrup, and then let's see if we can find one more sugar on here. Do you, I concentrate. Have, I have a question. Do they split it up? So, Because I'd always heard like they have to list it by order of how much it is. Mm -hmm. So isn't like the ingredient that's in something the most is mm -hmm. first? Exactly. So is that why they split it up into different kinds of sugars? Yes. Uh, yeah. Tricky. Yeah. Now, we're, our time's running short. Oh, Can you okay. talk about the veggies and fruits? Because a lot of people, it's like, oh, I eat vegetables and right. fruits. Right. So I brought these three things here because this juice here says non-GMO, no added sugar, 100% juice smoothie, which is what you alluded to for breakfast. Right. But we're talking about... Wait, wait, I don't have my glasses on. Does that 51? take 51, 51 grams, oh, grams wow. of sugar? And you can read that the first four ingredients are all just fruit juice. Yeah, so oh, this wow. is more sugar than she would need in the entire day. More than you would need in the entire day. You really wow. want to aim for somewhere between 24 to 30 max, but the average American the is getting about 144 grams per day. Uh. Good grief. Now, this has a picture of a baby on it, and I said I'd do some yogurt, too. So that yeah. would be less sugar, I'm guessing. Less sugar, you're guessing, absolutely. But, Mark, if you'll read the ingredients for me right there. Where are they? What's the here? second ingredient? The second ingredient is cane sugar. Cane sugar. Yeah. And you know what else is tricky, too? Like you said, it says organic on it. And a lot of times you feel like, oh, organic yeah. is healthy. Not necessarily. There's a Correct. ton of sugar in this. Correct. And these are a small serving as well. Right. So when you're like, what's the equation again for a teaspoon of sugar? How Four many? grams of sh sugar equals one teaspoon. So if you picture yourself instead of having this. Let's talk this about this orange juice okay. real quick. Uh, okay. Orange juice. 21 grams. 21 so I round that down to 20, so easy math. That's, so that's going to be five teaspoons. Yeah. Here's the trick. And there's How many two servings, servings in here. Yeah, yeah. There, oh, that's a, yeah. So, so wow. we're actually 10 teaspoons. In so this. reading labels. You know what, Rachel? I wish we had all day because <laughs> I want to read every label, but I'm going to learn from you and start doing that. Where do folks find you? Yeah, so I just opened up my first private office inside of Premier Medical Spa. We're located in South Point Parkway. And okay. um, you can have pr private consultations there with me. I work with clients for six months at a time to read really dig in. I even do pantry cleanouts, grocery store tours, and um, also private yoga. Very nice. Yeah. We'll make sure you can find Rachel. And who's, who's ready for some music? 
I'm always ready. Always ready. Let's head over to 1904 Music Hall.